Eddie House, Tom Giles with you here. Celtics post game live. Celtics getting the win 104 to 84 here on uh, game three of this first round playoff series. So uh, able to get back in front in this series, Eddie. But it, it all goes back to the first half. What we talked about at halftime, Celtics able to build a 24 point lead. And then it almost felt like kind of just weather the storm there in the second half and uh, just prove that, the, the, you know, Miami couldn't really mess with them and, and they were doing uh, what needed to be done to get this win. Well, I, I thought it all started with their intensity and their intentionality, as Joe Mazzulla likes to say all the time. Everything they did was with was with purpose, was forceful, and it was with intent. And then the other thing, I, I talked about this game one. Like, let's not get involved in talking about the refs and bad calls or we not getting these calls. And let's just play through it. And I didn't think that we talked too much to the refs today. I thought tonight, I thought that what they did was went out there, played physical basketball. Miami got extremely physical with them on the perimeter. We got just as physical with them. We didn't complain about anything. We just went out there and we played like a team that was down 0-2 in a playoff game. Every shot that Miami took, I felt like was extremely contested. Or and we worked we worked so hard on the defensive end, and that's why I feel like we were we were able to build that lead because it started on the defensive end, and that's what's going to have to carry over for us to win this series and every series moving forward. Yeah, defensively, Miami had. 12 points in that first quarter. And then the, the 39 points they had in the first half were the fewest they've had in a half in any game this season, including the entire regular season, Eddie. So uh, what, what was it about the defense there in those first 24 minutes that set the tone and gave the Celtics such a large lead? Effort, number one, it was effort. Everybody being on the same page. Communication was on point. You could see that. Everybody was talking. And then just making sure that uh, whatever the game plan was, and the game plan was make sure we contest every single shot that they have. And if we have to make the extra rotation, I'm not mad with two guys running at the ball at one time. If we're we're trying to run somebody off the three and then if that ball is kicked, somebody running over to him and it will scramble out of that. I just felt like this team, I, I just felt like they were really engaged today. All right, so again, 104 to 84, uh, your final score down in Miami. And uh, you saw Jason Tatum go for 22 points, Jalen Brown. Also had 22. Celtics had four guys in double figures. Porzingis with 18. Nice bounce back game for him. And uh, 16 as well for Derek White. And you also got some nice contributions from the bench as well. But uh, Celtics uh, in a game where they, you know, were 11 of 37 from three. So by far, I mean, that's their worst three-point shooting uh, night of this series. Yet they're able to win this game uh, with ease as uh, they're able to get it done in other areas, Eddie. And, you know, you look at it. 39 of 82 from uh, from the field just in general. You saw Jason Tatum kind of take over there. What did you think about his game, especially down the stretch? I thought he had a, a, another phenomenal floor game. Uh, you look at the numbers he put up. He almost messed around and had another triple-double. He, did, he didn't uh, blow up the scoreboard with his points, but everything else he did. He rebounded the basketball, had 11 rebounds. He made all the right plays. Um, he didn't – and number – and this is the, 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 the biggest key. He has the ball in his hands a lot and is either going to score or try to make a play for himself or make plays for others. He has zero turnovers. So he took care of the basketball. I think the team took care of the basketball at, uh, relatively well to, to, uh, in this game today. And so what I look at is that Jason Tatum is understanding that I don't have to go out and get 50 points for us to win. If that's what the game dictates, then I feel like he goes out there and he's able to do that. But the game dictated him to play the way that he played. And I think it starts on the defensive end. You don't have that much pressure on you. If you're able to build a lead, it all starts with defense. And, and, and I'll never waver on that. I think this team, when they're locked in defensively, they're able to play with pace, number one. And if they want to play a slowdown game once they get up and just say, hey, you know what? We don't have to rush. We can play through Porzingis or JT. They have the ability to do that. But it all starts with the defense. When that team is engaged like that, they were handsy. They got deflections. They were uh, contesting shots, fighting over screens. I, I, I'm not even mad at the little uh, scuffle between Sam Hauser uh, when, he, when he fouled uh, Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero threw the ball. I like that because the Heat have been the big bad bullies against us. No, no, no. It's not going to happen no more. You know, at some point, you got to draw the line in the sand. And I think they drew it to, to in this game. Yeah, and you saw Jason Tatum, too, that little bump on that turnaround right into Caleb Martin, too. It was a nice little moment there. All right, meanwhile, send it back down to South Beach. Uh, Abby Chin's got Jalen Brown.
Jalen, the last time you spoke with us, you were determined to prevent against a repeat performance in game two. What did you think about the way you guys came out and took control today? I think we came out and did what we were supposed to do. We executed on defense. Um, still think we could play better on offense, but I thought we did a good job tonight. How much did you put on your shoulders to match the physicality of the Heat? Just really just get on that glass. I mean, that's been a challenge. Make sure we get on the rebounds, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. You know, that's where the game is won and lost. So um, that's the challenge right there. How important was it to get the big fella and Kristaps Porzingis going early? Yeah, very important to get him going. You know, he's a key component of our team. They want to switch, and tonight he took advantage of his matchup. So big reason why we got the win tonight. What kind of lift did Peyton provide off the bench? Peyton's a dog, man. He came in, got great energy plays, uh, made timely baskets, and just, you know, space the floor for us. So Peyton's been doing what he's been doing all year long. No expectations, but what positives do you take from this one into game four? Um, we executed. I still think we could play a lot better. We're still getting you know, I feel for the playoffs together with this unit. Um, so we should look forward to, to maximize next game. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much, Abby. All right. Let's bring in Scal now. And Scal, when you take a look at this game and Celtics getting the uh, the 20 point win, then in Miami, what did you like most about the adjustments they made from uh, game two? I mean, the adjustments are simply. They were in the airspace of Miami more. I thought they, their pickup points were way higher. They were way more physical. Yep. Um, I, I just think, like, those small things uh, really panned out. Offensively, we didn't force anything. You didn't say, like, okay, I have a matchup and I have to shoot. The ball went inside out a lot. Thought we drove the ball and made the right play. And, and I'm going to be honest, Miami played really tough defense today. They were a really handsy group, and they contested almost every single one of our shots. But I think our game plan going in, our patience, our poise, and I thought if, like, to, if you can just watch Peyton Pritchard from the moment he checked in and how the game defensively just went to a different level, I think that that was a huge moment for us. Yeah, I thought really it was it, it all starts with our defense, man. We're not able to play with pace if we're taking the ball out the net and allowing a team to set up either they want to kind of run a, a, a token press and then get into a, a zone or or if, whatever it is, they're able to set their defense. You know, it's no cross matches. But when we're able to, to get stops, we're able to get out in the open court. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we're looking for fast break points. But what it does is that we're initiating our offense early on. They're, the pickup points are a little deeper instead of being we're, we're on our heels way back towards half court for the, uh, the opposing team's pickup points, it's totally different. We're getting to our spot to where we want to initiate our offense. And I think that that's what the difference was in this game. We were more physical. We were more aggressive. And, you know, sometimes, when you know, the bullies, you got to bully the bully. And I felt like we did that at times. You know, they still were handsy and got away with things. But I like the scrum, Scal. I don't know about you. You were right. You, you were there. So, like, the energy in the building when – Tyler Hero threw the ball to Sam Hauser. I wasn't mad at what Sam did. I mean, I know it wasn't intentional, but it, it was just one of those physical plays. And then Peyton getting in Tyler Hero's face. And then that lingering on. I like stuff like that because it's throwing up. We're not backing down. We're not going back down from you right here. That's okay. Yep, I got beat. I pushed you. All right, now you want to do this. Now everybody else coming to our to my defense. Now we talking. Well, we, because, Gal, you know this. The word on the Celtics have been that you could punk them if you get physical with them. If you change that narrative as the Boston Celtics, there is nothing that any team in this league can do with you if you change that narrative. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that that is, when, you know, we talked to me and Eddie, talked to guys around the league. If the Celtics do have a weakness that they think it is, it's that. Like, you can get under their skin, you can push them around, you can punk them. But I like the way that this team has responded since since that. Yep. Remember that incident in game one? Like, that's, they, they respond really well. And I thought that, uh, I, th I just thought today our, our defense was physical, it was poised. And, and if, we're, if we're doing that and we're sharing the ball and we're taking care of the ball, we're going to be fine. 